welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a Christmas gift guide for you today because Christmas is just around the corner and I wanted to do a video that supported other artists as well. So I've got some kind of whimsical themed gifts because I thought what sort of theme can I do to sum it all up? and the kind of things that I like are whimsical. So they're whimsical and they're all from independent artists and small businesses. I'm also going to be splitting this up into three sort of subcategories because I think the types of um, gifts that I'm drawn to, they either have some kind of cute animal, something to do with nature or a kind of bookish theme. So that is what we're going with. The first one in the category of cute animals is this lovely unicorn that my sister got me. And actually, I should probably say, Lucy, um, stop. If you're watching this video, stop right now because um, later on I might have, uh, I might be showing a Christmas present that I've got you. So you can watch this after Christmas. Anyway, this is from a shop called Bar Runt Tando Ceramics. That is, yeah, hard for me to say. I don't know if you can see, it, it's got their name on the bottom. It just says Burr. I can say that a little bit easier. But yeah, they make beautiful, ceramic, cute, whimsical animals. They're just, they're just really fun and he sits really nicely. So yeah, if you're, if you're into kind of like, cute ornaments that are quite kind of quite sort of modern and contemporary um and charming they have quite a large selection of bowls for your wall which yeah they're so cute and it's quite an imaginative gift and yeah so they have these animal ones they have llamas which are really cute and i think they have a ram which is, <laughs> I love his, um, his horns and yeah, his expression is so cute and he's on little legs and they also do, they do little tops for your knitting needles, which is quite a cute idea. So you can have like matching tops to, to your, um, yarn bowl. They have a giraffe. <laughs> it's just, it's so cute. I would definitely recommend just checking out their whole shop and having a peruse. <laughs> the next artist I would really recommend checking out is Sammy Cluck Art. And I have actually one of her prints. Oh, trying to point to it there. Um, I'll do a close up of that actually, which is Mr. Tibbles. <laughs> he's, he's so cute. Yeah, she does these really adorable like bunny drawings that she's really known for. Um, but yeah, she does um, watercolour, she also does digital work as well, um, and just really lovely soft colours. And it feels kind of very nostalgic, um, but it also kind of has a modern twist as well. One of the gifts that I have got for my sister is um, this bunny mug, and it's covered in these tiny bunnies that are all baking and so there's some that are like rolling up like a swiss roll and there's one stirring stuff and like putting icing on and yeah it's just so cute i love the design and she's also done it as a print that you can get in her shop and it's also on a blanket as well but yeah definitely check out her shop yeah she's got so many adorable designs and yeah, and tote bags as well. So yeah, go go check out her stuff. The next artist is a woman called Grace and she goes by the name The Mighty Ink and she does these amazing clay pet portraits. So, which yeah, I think it makes such a unique gift and I definitely recommend checking out her Etsy shop and also her Instagram to see past clay pet portraits because she really kind of captures the likeness and then yeah they're just adorable. So still on the cute animal theme I'd recommend checking out Holly Haymaker on Etsy. So she makes these really cute like plant pots. She's done a cheetah, a tiger and a lion and they're so cute and I love the expressions. The expressions are just kind of, I don't know, they're not like really really excited. They're 
there's something about it they're not quite grumpy but they're just a bit <laughs> I don't know they don't look like really happy and there's something about that that I like and I'm not sure what it is like grumpy things can be kind of cute I don't know if someone can explain <laughs> what it is please let me know in the comments because I'm finding it hard to articulate what it is that I like so much about these so I've shown you quite a few kind of ceramic things with the cute animals so I'm going to show you a print now which is this adorable it's a bit shiny because I've put it in a frame so I will show you some cutaways. There's something that I just really like about seeing cute animals doing kind of like human things and this is a squirrel and it's like in a kitchen baking a little cake and it's got little socks and shoes and it's drying some like mushrooms and some dried flowers and it's got a little like kettle and a little oven and it's just yeah it's so cute this is Cecile Burrub's shop so currently she has greetings cards and prints and occasionally she does originals as well as you can see the animals are just they're so cute and I'd really recommend also checking out her Instagram because I'm just so like it fills me with joy every time I see one of her cute animals so that was all the kind of cute animals let's move on to the next kind of whimsical section which is going to be like nature inspired gifts this next one I'm really excited about this is a woman called Mariella and she makes these amazing uh, she makes necklaces and also kind of like wall hangings like decoration things but it's all out of real flowers that she's like pressed um, and yeah I just think the craftsmanship looks amazing and I just I was looking at so many of these they just I couldn't decide for ages so I have bought a couple of things for myself <laughs> and for Tom and then I've also bought something for my parents and something for Tom's parents as well but yeah they're so beautiful and I think it's just nice to have a bit of nature and just something that's gonna be preserved I think yeah there's something really kind of magical about that so next up we have these beautiful cards that I got from Chloe Giordano Chloe please <laughs> Please excuse how I'm pronouncing your surname. Um, yeah, she is an embroiderer. She creates cards and also prints of her work. Um, but yeah, there's so much detail in these and they're, these cards are really good quality. So you can actually kind of see all the details of the stitching and even of like the fabric that it's on as well. So even though this is like um, a printed card, like you kind of, get that effect of it being embroidered. Her work is beautiful. Um, I've put Chloe in the kind of nature, she could have fitted in the cute animals category to be fair because a lot of what she does is like um, these lovely sort of forest animals in nature but she always does these amazing like foliage designs as well. So I've got some cards from her. I love this fox one. I've also got so a set of these stickers as well. Next up we have a shop called Pen and Plants which is run by Victoria Foster. So I have got this late bloomer pin from her. She does these really intricate pen illustrations and then she makes them into all these different things. The, one of the most exciting things she makes is tattoos. So if you're like me and you're a little bit scared of getting a tattoo and you don't want something permanent and you might be scared of needles, then yeah, her temporary tattoos are beautiful and yeah, they're all nature themed. Um, I really love the daisy chain one. That's one of my favourites. Next we have a shop called A Pocket Full of Posies which sells jewellery. Yeah, it's got a couple of things that are on my wish list because they're beautiful. This is run by a woman called Becca and everything is just very delicate, quite sort of feminine 
One of my favourite designs of hers is this leaf bobby pin or um, Kirby grip. But yeah, it's just, it's quite sort of simple but ornate at the same time. And um, yeah, I just think it's beautiful, like the little details in the leaf. She also has these pine cone earrings. They're so sort of small and dinky and delicate. Oh yeah, she does um she has a necklace of this as well. I think this would be really good for yeah, the kind of autumn and winter months. Um so yeah, I think this would make quite a nice Christmas gift. So next we have a shop called Glass House UK and this is another item that is on my wish list. It is a terrarium mirror. So it's kind of in the shape of a terrarium. And yeah, they also sell terrariums as well, but I think this mirror is just quite a fun gift. It's quite a small mirror as well, so I think it would be good to give as a gift because it's not, you know, ginormous. So moving on to the bookish themed section now. First up we have Holly Dunn Design. And if you know Holly, she has her own YouTube channel and she specializes in book cover design. And she also has a shop where she makes bookish gifts. So this is Holly's shop. And yeah, she has lots of book themed gifts. So she has t-shirts and tote bags. Yeah, Holly also designs amazing notebooks. I think because she specialises as a book designer, her notebooks are just, the covers are amazing. And she always goes to that extra detail of doing like something on the inside as well. But yeah, they're just stunning and so like thoughtful in the design. But yeah, would, uh, would definitely recommend checking out Holly's shop. So next we have this necklace which has got this tiny little book on and you open the book and there's all these tiny little pages folded so I just thought this would make such a cute gift and it's from a shop called Silk Purse Sow's Ear. Not so fond of the name of that shop but I guess it you know sticks in your head. So the next book themed gift are these book ends that Moko shop specializes in and they're made out of wood and there's quite a few that are kind of book themed. I mean, I know they're book ends, but there's lots of kind of book themed ones within that. So there's one that is um, where the wild things are that's got um, Max in it. I think my favourite one is just this one that's just the plain forest just because there's so many stories that are set in woods and forests and it just has this kind of like fairy tale aspect to it. Next up we have Lucky Bookmark uh, <laughs> and I thought this gift was just so fun. The shop is run by a man called Ivan. But yeah I just think it's such a fun idea to have <laughs> some little legs poking out of a book. The Alice in Wonderland ones are especially clever just because when like she grows too big so it's almost like she's grown too big she's coming out of the book. I'm pretty sure that it's actually the Witch of the East that the house crushes so technically I think these should be the Witch of the East's shoes but I guess the Witch of the West is kind of featured in the story more but yeah this is just such a cute idea and yeah it says there's no place like home and yeah I just love the idea that a character could be kind of slipping out of your book <laughs> and the last shop I'd recommend checking out is Bombay Forest which is by Lee Foster Wilson she makes these amazing pins lots of them that I've got my eye on and there's a couple that I wanted to share that have got a kind of sort of story theme behind them. Yeah, and she, she did a series that's to do with things under the sea. Yeah, it's got this quote, the sea so full of treasures and stories untold. And I really love how she's used this quote and she's made a few different items from it. So it's not the same thing again and again and I think this would be really great for if you're like a fan of like mermaids and fairy tales. Thank you if you made it to the end of this video I hope you enjoyed it 
I will leave all the links to the artists and the small businesses in the description so go and check them out and if you also run your own shop then feel free to leave that in the comments and then people can check out your stuff and yeah I hope you're all feeling very festive and I'm gonna finish drinking my tea and I will see you in the next video bye